is Zoella and Lilette have invited me here today to talk to some celebrities about how they found growing up. Now I get to speak to Nicola Roberts to find out if her experiences were anything like mine. So growing up, I was always the late bloomer. All my friends were way ahead of me. I was really like anxious that was never and nothing was ever going to happen to me. Yeah. Um, how did you find being with your friends and growing up and stuff? I was quite a late bloomer. Like I had a few friends that were like early bloomers. Yeah. Like maximum bloomers. So I was a bit <laughs> like, wow, why don't I have those? I know. Um, but I just, I just felt like. I was aware that people, it was all different times, it happens to people at different times, so I just kind of chilled out and was just sort of waiting for it to happen. Yeah, just... I was similar to you, I was quite chilled about it, mm. but I think that's probably because all my friends had already done it as yeah. well. Yeah, so you'd watched. So I'd watched it happen. I was very jealous of like hips, because I was yeah. always really skinny, and um, I was so slim and I had like no curves, curves or anything. I was the same. I remember having a conversation with my mum, um, about shaving legs as well yeah. because I was always like oh what do you do like at what age do you shave your legs I was not like that I was not waiting for anyone to tell me <laughs> get rid of I it I was like oh, gone yeah and I remember one day I got cut out because my auntie was putting lotion on my legs and she could obviously feel what I'd done and she was like oh my good god this young girl I was like don't please don't tell mom like one of I those remember things having to try and guess how to shave my legs because I'd never seen anyone show me or I just sort of got the razor out and I was like okay I guess you go up right and you would always have those girls in your school that had the like plasters down here where they'd like cut themselves and I was like oh this looks so hard I know I mean the thing is is if you've got older sisters or you've got like you just have to try and speak to your mum like mm. whatever kind of relationship you have with her so what about skin have you ever had any like skin issues I was completely clear and it wasn't until more of like an adult life that I started to develop like bad, bad skin. Yeah, how did you cope with boys and friendships? I was so, sh like I am quite a shy person and when it comes to boys I like, I am really shy and then it wasn't until I was like 16 that I had a, had a proper boyfriend. I remember I went through like a stage where I really hated my appearance, I had like awful hair and where I thought if I dyed the front parts blonde it looked really cool so I had um, braces as well which crushed my confidence massively because I just hated smiling um, but you were like my little brother needs braces and I keep saying to him please get braces yeah now while you're in school. I would a hundred percent tell anyone who needs braces to get braces I almost didn't do it and I'm so glad exactly. that I did so I went through that little like awkward stage where I wasn't quite sure and then after that um, boys started to become a little bit more interested. You know when you get to like year nine, year 10, around yes. the age of like 15, 16. And you like all the older boys. Yeah. And I used to get like asked out, they used to pass like little messages and you'd be like, okay, no, thank you. I and never I, got asked out. Didn't you? No. Um, but yeah, I used to always say no, because I was terrified. I didn't even want to hold anyone's hand. So did you ever have any mood swings or you know, anxieties or? I didn't have mood swings, but I was quite bossy with my mum and dad. Did you ever have any like anxieties around anything? One of the biggest things that you worry about at 16 is exams. Mm, definitely. And I, although I used to see my friends a lot, I made sure that I was studying and I made sure that I, I, I got through all of my exams. I think it was quite a shock for me to have a lot of new emotions and feelings. Yes. And um, what, like, what kind? What like? Um, it just all seemed to happen at once. Like everything happened in one year. I swear I was like 14 and everything happened. So I had my anxiety. Um, I, me and my brother, that was when we started to sort of like argue a bit more. Right. And he's because he's 18 months younger than me. Okay. Um, so we both started having a bit more of a voice. Right. Um, and there'd be like little disputes with my parents where so they. The dynamics were changing. Yeah, the dynamics changed quite a bit. Kind of. Clash Were a little you close bit. to your parents. Yeah, yeah, I was really close to my parents, which so is nice. Do you like talk to them about pro like troubles and problems that you're feeling and stuff? Um, I was probably more likely to speak to my friends about it than yeah. my parents. I think. I feel like I'm kind of like my own best friend in that sense because I'll just talk to myself about it. Like I'll talk to my friends and my sister, mm. and I'll talk things out. But like essentially, when it comes down to it, like I will just deal with it myself. Yeah. I wish I could do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm a lot more of a talker 
with like people like I need like reassurance and... tell you who's a talker Kimberly's a talker oh really she that girl will talk to 10 to 15 people on the phone about the same thing so how do you feel now like have you accepted like yourself for who you are do you feel a lot more confident yeah I think we're always changing aren't we especially Definitely. as women I feel like I'm always growing yeah uh, which is a good thing definitely it's been really nice chatting yes, to you i has. feel like we've had a really nice therapy session we have, indeed. <laughs> um, thank you for talking to me today thank you now i get to speak to the extremely talented alexandra burke to find out if her experiences were anything like mine so alexandra tell me what it was like for you growing up the first year of school was difficult yeah of course i went into the school all guns blazing I want to sing so yeah. <laughs> they had this they had this amazing competition called um, stars in your eyes but I definitely want to enter this competition and because I entered the competition and won it at 12 years old I got bullied oh I was gonna say yeah. you, surely people were like oh, amazing. oh no 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 it, it went straight the opposite way oh, no. <laughs> um, I, I did get bullied for like the first year of school and it was it was kind of um that was difficult to handle yeah uh, but it definitely made me want to be a mentor and oh, that's okay. why I started mentoring when I got to year nine uh, I wanted other girls to be inspired and, and not feel discouraged by any bullying and I wanted girls to feel they could open up yeah to their mentors so to speak in in in, in school so that they wouldn't be alone how yeah. about boys though what did you do about boys I, I mean what can I do you in the girls school <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it so <laughs> of course after school I used to go to an after school club yeah um it was a youth club it was amazing ah, and of awesome. course boys were allowed there ah. so that's where I had like my first crush and I used to go home probably once a week and say to my mum oh my god there's this boy in my youth club he's so cute she'd be like yeah you but you love everyone I'd be like yeah but he's really really cute he's the one he's the one all the time <laughs> yeah. all the time my mum used to be like you're crazy I'd be like yeah I know did you always get on with your mum or did you ever have those like awkward like teenager kind oh, yeah. of stages oh absolutely yeah. we definitely had those moments my mum Thankfully, she was someone I could go to when I needed help and advice about boys or, or when I started my period, for example. Yeah. You know? I started at 15. I was 14. Oh, see, I had no idea that it was starting and it was the day I left school. What about spots? Did you ever have spots? You know, I went through, I think when, ah, that's when it was, when my period started at 15, that's when the spots and the greasiness on my yep, face and stuff really started. Yep. And it did affect me. I remember it, um, I remember wanting to wear makeup because of it. Yeah. I remember so did wanting... you not wear makeup until no, you would my mum wouldn't let me oh, really? at all. She, nah, not. With your friends, did you ever have like fallouts or? There was w one of my girlfriends actually, we did argue over a guy. We both fancied someone. But this is when we were both like, 17, 18, yeah. so, you know, a bit older, a little yeah. bit more mature. But my rule is this, if we both fancy someone, we both can't go there. Oh, that's my rule too. You can't date them. Oh no, You can't go to the movies. You can't go <laughs> ice skating. No. Nope. There's nothing you can do. You cannot even say hi. No. Nope. So, you know, that's the rules. <laughs> Sisters both over misters. Absolutely. Did you ever have any mood swings or anxieties? The mood swings, um, that really took place and was really present like when i had my second period yeah Once wasn't the first for sure the first i slept i slept <laughs> just I slept went through to the bed. whole yeah, seven days i was like i can't <laughs> deal with this i'm going to bed i stayed in bed because i was depressed i was like oh my god i'm really a woman now that's yeah. what it was in my brain i mean regular too by the way, mm -hmm. I'd only get my periods four times a year. I guess that's reassuring for people who might well, have yeah, the same thing. Well, yeah, I mean, and, and I've never heard is, of it. It's only now started to become regular. Yeah. So this is the first time in my life I've had it five months consistently. A huge shock to me. Leading up to my period a week before, I know it's coming because I'm like... Get out of my way. <laughs> Do you have happening. to prepare everyone else for it as well? Not really, because it's not that bad. It used to be a lot worse because of how bad my cramps were. Yeah. Back when I was like 15, 16. Yeah. Every little thing frustrates you. Oh my you. gosh, yeah. And the yeah. emotions are high. I'll, I'll cry over my dog barking. So yeah, you know, right? I think I had more mood swings when I was younger. Right. I kind of feel like now I've kind of leveled out, leveled out right. a bit. Yeah. And I know if I'm going to have a mood swing or I know if I'm having a down week. Right. And I can right. normally 
rearrange things uh -huh. and make sure I'm doing something to keep me happy. Yes, and... yeah, yeah. But when and I was younger and everyone else was going through the same thing, it was kind of like everyone was like clashing a little yes. bit. Yes, and that's what happens. Thank you very much for Thank speaking you, to me today. Thank I've had you. a lot of fun. It was amazing. Thank you very much. Remember, you're not on your own and you can talk to your family or friends or go to websites such as Lilette's Becoming a Teen. I've also made a behind the scenes video which you can check out over on my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. You know, I'm still becoming that person who wants to still be confident. Everybody wants to be confident, but it takes time. You know, I'm still growing. I know I'm, I'm still only, I'm only 25, so I've got a long way to go in terms of being that ultra confident person. And I guess you, as young women, we learn something new every day.